Factoring by grouping is great. <laughs> We're going to be using factoring by grouping with most of the polynomials that we use uh, later on to factor and to solve equations with polynomials. What this means, and I don't know if it's saying this exactly because I didn't really read it, but all this, all this is going to do is, you know how in these last couple of problems we've been factoring out 5x or 10x squared y? That's one term. Uh, factoring by grouping allows us to factor out a polynomial. All right, so this. Right here, if we look at this, this looks far more complicated than it is. We have set this up to make it so easy. Well, I say that knowing that it still isn't easy. So uh, just be careful, all right? We have to look at this and consider how many terms are we dealing with. Now, some of you may say as high as six. There are two terms here, two. Because they're being separated by this one addition. Everything else is multiplication. So technically, I would say in this problem right here, we've got two terms. So let's look at the first one, which I will do in purple. I've got two times x minus four, right? Now if I use the same technique that we've been using, the two factors of this are two times x minus four, right? Those are the two factors because they're being multiplied together. And this other term we'll put in green. So this is 3y <coughs> times x minus 4. 3 is prime already, so I've got 3 times y times, again, x minus 4. This is great because we can see now. And by the way, not everyone will need all these steps in the future once you guys get used to this. But the greatest common factor common between these two terms is a binomial or polynomial which is kind of what we're talking about right there right so outside of the parentheses I've got an x minus 4 and I'm gonna multiply it by what's left in purple which was the leading term I've got a 2 left over and this was added to uh, what's left over from that second term is the 3y that's it this right here is factored by grouping. If they did not ask us to factor by grouping, which this one should have asked us, uh, then we would maybe distribute those and find like terms to combine, like we did in 5.1 or 2, which one? Um, but in this case, since it does want factor by grouping, we need two groups to come out of this. Sometimes, I mean, eventually we may see three groups, but this is good. <laughs>